Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, it is Wednesday, and I'm not actually working today. And I'm on the promenade, and as you can see, it's still light outside. I feel like it's been ages since I've filmed a video, when I'm not walking to work in the pitch black. I'm actually off work this week from Monday to Saturday because there's been a hospital trip on Monday, there's been a hospital trip today and there'll also be a hospital trip for a minor operation on Friday so I've literally put the whole week off. So yeah I'm just out now, I'm on my way to Morrison's actually I thought I'd walk via the prom so I could film some stuff for you guys. We're going to do our usual pan around. There you go, doesn't that look amazing? Okay, this morning was weird because as I mentioned, we had a hospital visit today, but it wasn't for anything important. It was just for the PCI test, whatever you call them. So we got taken there in a taxi and dropped straight back home in the taxi. So we were only there about half an hour, but that wasn't the weird bit. Before that, there was a very, very minor injury in my household that involved a bit of blood nothing that needed any special attention and definitely nothing dangerous but me being the qualified first aider of the house I wanted to deal with it you know simple little little bleeding area just put elevate the wound put pressure on the wound so I did that and once it stopped bleeding I took the dressing off and then I saw the blood and I actually fainted. I kind of just, the whole world went away from me and I kind of was all queasy and I collapsed to the ground. And then I was semi-conscious for a bit and I actually think I blacked out for a bit, which is like super duper weird because I've done a ton of first aids for a ton of different things. Because I've worked as a, as a leisure assistant for a good old while and you get the little kids all the time who cut the fingers and cut the toes and stuff and scrape this and that and need a plaster for their little boo-boos and the, well I'm saying injury, injury is a strong word, the injury in air quotes that I dealt with today was kind of like your average little boo-boo sort of thing so it wasn't anything serious and blood's never bothered me before so I have no idea why that happened but I went all dizzy and I just sort of collapsed to the ground and scared everybody blocked out for a little bit then I felt kind of weird and sick and like unsteady for about the next hour or so and then I felt fine but yeah that was very very strange and yeah I'm obviously okay now but I don't understand why that happened but yeah that was my morning anyway let's take a look at tram tracks there uh, no trams that I can see coming that way actually I think there's one in the distance oh and there's also one in the distance coming that way don't know whether you'll be able to see them on the camera so there's this car's going past I'm just going to roll right across the road nice and easy peasy and there we can see UK's traditional chippy fish and chips what else do they do scampi hot donuts onion rings fish cake and chips and they do pizzas and what looks like a tasty array of burgers and kebabs and this little building site has been like this it's not really a building site because there's actually no building 
actively going on at the moment so I don't know if you'd actually call it a building site but you know what I mean that has been like that for absolutely ages it's a long time since I've been down this part of the prom poking the camera there right into the sun a couple of hours and then the sunset I can't wait for those weeks when the sunset's going to be like 9 or 10 o'clock at night and we get a lot more hours of daylight it'll be so much easier to film that little street there is called commercial street it just goes to the bottom there then just curls around and comes out on waterloo road i actually have commercial street already on the streets of blackpool series Oscar going past there There we've got the Dutton Arms, traditional ale house, nice little outdoor seating area. Although I'm definitely not a pub person. Shall we go and have a quick look at the Hearts building and see what's going on there? There we have Lottery on the Isis. It's widely agreed that that is the best ice cream place in Blackpool although creams is amazing as well and they do enjoy sprinkles yeah not to be honest whenever it's open there's always a queue if you just peek down here to the left you can see the other side of commercial street there's a little fence up fence off bit at the bottom there let's take a quick look I don't think there's absolutely anything going on there but we can take a look anyway that's where we've just looked down before we walk round oh look well it says work commencing on site 3rd of August 2020 well oh that's the back of that site I see look obviously it is there you go, so that's the back of that empty site that we just walked past before and that's that site from a different angle so there you go clearly work did not commence in August 2020 didn't even commence in August 2021 so let's go back down there now and see if there's anything we can see on the Hearts building because all this is closed up I think there's a hole there in the window and I put my camera through and take a nosy little peep because I'm sure you all want me to yeah there's a hole in the window sorry for the window but let's have a look anyway can we see through there oh yes we can look there you go that's a good view some stairs going up there and you can see in the building that I don't really like smash windows but I do like little peepholes not a lot to see through there and I know that's not a hole there because last time I walked past I saw that from a distance like a little porthole and thought that was a hole in the wood to look through but as I walked past I realised it wasn't so this is pretty much boarded up although ooh, look 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 ooh, look we've got another big hole there and oh yeah i remember this one we have had the camera through here before so there i think from all the angles we've seen all the buildings and there's definitely a basement there because you can see all the rooms below and that is that so let's walk down bond street a little bit and just see from this side I'm pretty sure that there's nothing else we can see from this side. So yeah, that is about it for this video. I think I'm seven feet tall. I could reach the camera over there. But when you're as little as I am, that's high in the sky. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you all very soon in the next one goodbye